Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Happy Power Channel. Today we're mixed up a little bit and bringing guys a full news video regarding the pro community. Regular news is completely dead when it comes to leaks, uh, brand new updates, stuff like that. So in the meantime, I'm going to be covering different topics such as things you guys actually want to see, the pro community, and much more, which a lot of guys constantly ask me to cover. So this is a fully dedicated video to the pro community and what just happened in the first week of FNCS. So without further ado, let's just hop directly into it. So week one of FNCS, we have four winners in the top two. Keys, Slacks, Buck, and Creor. Now, this is actually pretty significant. It looks like they were now banned for 60 days. Now, why is that reason? Well, it looks like Ghost Bizzle has just posted this clip. Now if you guys did not see what's going on, they're essentially cheating because they are tagging each other so they do not get the storm surge. If you guys do not know, most of the time in FNCS, the World Cup, and all those big pro games, a lot of people do not die right off the start. So in the end game, there's way too many people. So at the games came up with storm surge. If you guys do not get into any fights or tag anybody at all during the end games or during a certain time period, you will start to take random storm damage and essentially die out. This is the only way Epic Games can make it so not too many players are now in the end game. So, what they actually did, these top four pro players, was talk about it before the game and tag each other every single end game. So that way all four of them would not get storm damage and they could remain on the top one and two list. Now obviously that is completely cheating and a bunch of pro players have now responded to this and said this. Keys and Slacks after winning the tournament then checking the timeline 5 minutes later because all the pro players have now said this. If he doesn't get banned for teaming then he might get banned for stream sniping instead. Oh no 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 no. That was Mr. Savage from 100 Thieves. Creo responded to this directly and by the way he's one of the people that got banned and he said this. Wish we'd at least had the opportunity to explain slash defend ourselves without everyone hopping on the bandwagon. Also wish Fortnite did some sort of investigation slash asked us questions. Heartbroken. Ghost Bizzle responded to this and said this, 2 month ban is surprisingly good by Epic. Now struts res maybe? Benji Fish had this to say, if you're gonna cheat, don't get caught. Dang, they acted fast. That's unusual for Epic, not gonna lie. And yes, of course, they were issued a 60 day ban which is a very long time. Surprisingly, Cliff himself said this, Yes, a ban is deserved, but 60 days is way too much. They're banned for this whole FNCS and half of the next. And this really caught me by surprise. Look who respond to this. Not only Hypex, but we do have for you guys a guy that works for YouTube as well. So, Hypex said this, The 60 days ban had to be done so they can set an example for another comp players in the future. 
And if it was another game, you'd probably get banned for life. And yeah, that's actually pretty much true. He got actually lucky. He could have been banned for life. Imagine that. Also responding to this was actually Benchyfish who said this. Probably that long because of the backlash they got only banning XXIF and Ronaldo for two weeks and wanted to make a statement, but yes, it's too long. Cliff himself again said this. I don't feel like Epic should have acted this fast. I feel like they didn't have a chance to even defend themselves. This 60 day ban is life changing for all of them. None of them are going to be signed again, and they're missing a whole FNCS 60 day ban was not necessary whatsoever. And then Ryan White, who works for YouTube, said this. There's an amazing alternative to a 60 day ban, and that's choosing not to cheat. And of course, Jack and a whole bunch of pro players also responded and said this, LMAO, exactly my thought. Could be a lifetime ban, they got a slap on the wrist, said Justin. Ivan said, yes, this right here. But last but not least, Jacob said this, it's disappointing to see how many players and professional players are objecting to the ban. So yes, guys, a very, very big story. Four pro players in the FNCS Week 1 have now been 60-day banned, and it looks like this is a time period where they're going to be signed to their next organization, or some of their contracts do in fact end, which means they actually missed out on that as well, and they're also missing out on possible money from winning in the FNCS over the next couple of weeks. But cheating is cheating, you know, they did it to themselves and it's quite unfortunate, but Ninja had this to say on the whole subject. The com this competitive scene is purely ran by kids. And then Epic's like, here's a Fortnite tournament. Let older people that play it too. Nate Hill, Funk Bomb, me, Chad. But when all the practicing and all that stuff, and when they're like, it's not Mongrel and his friends. I don't, I don't know. Mo dude, I respect Mongrel and Benji Fishy and those guys, man. I don't think they, I don't think they would do this. They're, so, they're too talented. They're too talented. They don't need to. Which is so weird because so are these kids. And I'm disappointed, man. I'm disappointed in so many of these of these kids that can they're trying to cheat man when they don't need to uh jarvis cheats in a uh online regular game for no money gets a full-time ban players get caught uh -huh. cheating in a tournament for money and they get banned for 60 days all right go floor's yours so in ninja's words he said jarvis cheats in a regular game with for no money and gets a full-time ban Players get caught cheating on a tournament for money and they get banned for only 60 days. Dot dot dot. So what are your thoughts about that? I know that Jarvis completely was hacking, but it was actually for no money, so it's essentially completely pointless. These guys were cheating and won themselves $2,000 each. That seems like a little more than Jarvis' situation, even though he was using aimbot. I mean, it was completely pointless considering it was not in a real game. It was just simply for entertainment purposes and he was trying to, you know, just make people mad but these guys were full on cheating to get some free money i mean that just seems like so much worse to me now buck wanted to respond to this and he said this over on his twitter everyone has their own storm surge route slash techniques we know where people land due to maps that are made by third parties if we had a limited shield the impact on our game that taking a bloom battle with another team is very minimal. Our loot route directs us to that one truck with a chest added. By the time that they are done with their loot route, they end up at the slurp truck and we end up shooting each other since we cross paths. Even when our other teams land at slurpy swamps, we bloom battle them because there's unlimited shield. There have been multiple times in scrim slash tournaments where we kill each other because we've got triple dinked or naded. Alright, so he basically admitted to doing this and he also said, you know, his explanation. So, what are your thoughts about this down below? And last but not least, Ghost Bizzle said this because he's the first person to cover this and make it well known. He said this, People are hating on me. I'm not the one who cheated. The game was already on Twitter before I reposted it. I had nothing wrong with Creo, Buck, Keys, and Slacks in the past, but they cheated and got caught. They're both good duos and could have done fine without colluding for Storm Surge. Alright, and yeah, a very respectable response. I don't really know why people are indeed hating on Ghost Bizzle. I mean, it's not really his fault. I mean, he did not cheat or anything. He just simply shared this around because he felt like it's the right thing to do. And yeah, it most definitely was. They definitely deserve to be banned. Cheaters are cheaters, but leave your opinions down below. Now, as far as today's video goes, unfortunately, that's all we have for you guys as of right now. That is the full story. In my next upcoming video, we have a full new section talking about some leaks, Fortnite possibly collaborating with uh, Animal Crossing, and much more. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in tomorrow's videos. And as always, stay happy and have a great day.